Congratulations. Today we're going to talk about something not a lot of people talk about, and that's how much you're going to make when you get an offer. Okay, so I'm actually going to take you through the entire process. We'll start by talking about most jobs in general, not necessarily sales jobs. And then what we'll do is we'll add on the sales component and we'll talk specifically about quotas, which you'll learn about in just a minute. And we'll talk about these different compensation practices. So I want to start by sharing just kind of a brief background about why I even put this module together. In the summer of 2017, I had four of my students who had me in the fall of 2016 reach out to me within a one week time period. And the conversations that we were having were all about compensation. So one of my students was getting exactly what she expected, was thrilled, loved her job. My second student, he was also really happy, but he had not moved off of his training salary and onto full commission-based and quota-based salaries. My third student, working for a very large organization, was miserable. She was miserable because she had misunderstood how much she would be guaranteed to be making. And it also seemed like her company was changing the policy on her literally every single week that she had worked there. The final student, really great, sharp student, super excited to start her job. She actually took a lot of responsibility on herself. She had not asked enough questions to understand what essentially was going to happen is that what she thought was a guaranteed that she was going to make was actually her target if she reached her quota. So now let me unpack all this and explain it to you. And I'm going to start with the concept that's related to every single person that gets a job. Okay, let's dive in. So in most jobs, what we see that happens is people get a salary, okay, and then they also get benefits. And then sometimes little extras, okay? And that's pretty typical. That's what you're usually gonna be getting. So let's make this concrete and let's assume you're gonna get a nice salary of $48,000, okay? And I'll abbreviate that 48K to make that easy. That's $4,000 a month, okay? And you're like, okay, that's all right. I can live on that, right? Now, let's assume that you are starting June 1st. My question to you is, when are you going to see that first paycheck? Okay. A lot of people are going to say, oh, a couple of weeks after I work there. Actually, a lot of companies go a whole month um, before and they pay you monthly. And they actually don't pay you until you've worked there a whole month. So it is quite possible that you're going to see $4,000, by the way, <laughs> minus taxes. And usually if you have to pay anything for your benefits, you're not going to see that until August 1st. Okay. So a lot of students don't understand that as they're starting their careers, they actually need to have some money saved to be able to get them started. I'll never forget, I had a wonderful student about a decade ago in my class, and she was so excited. She brought her offer letter to me, and then the next set of conversations we had were, when can I buy a car? I'm so excited to buy a car. And I walked her through these numbers, and she went, oh, I guess I'd better go take my down payment out. Um, I need to wait a few months. And she came to the realization that she thought she was going to be making money really fast. And it actually takes a while to get things going. So let's do a direct comparison here. How do the typical jobs where you have a salary plus benefits compare to sales? Well, first of all, this right here, exactly the same. Okay. Let's also assume that we have this 48K here in sales. But now I'm going to ask you to think about something. Is that guaranteed? All right, is it? I need you to ask a few really central questions when you hear that you're going to be making $48,000. Is it a guarantee? Is that my target salary? Or is that my base salary? So let me explain what happens in sales. A lot of times you are going to be carrying what's called a quota. 
So a quota means how much you need to sell be, uh, to actually even meet something like a target salary. So if you had a target and you didn't make your quota, you would not be making $48,000 a year. Okay, that's a simple explanation. I'm gonna kind of go into it in more detail next. So we have to ask that. This is actually still pretty similar. You're still gonna get that, but the big difference is your commission might be paid later, okay? So when you go into sales, you really do have to start thinking about what's the timing of when I'm gonna get paid, and you need to ask questions. The key person to ask questions is usually someone in human resources. I actually consulted about four of my good friends who are in human resources to be sure that I had my terminology correct. And by the way, it's gonna vary. And so the best that I can do here is sensitize you to the types of questions that you want to ask when you get that great information that you have a job offer, okay? So let's dive in now and let's talk specifically about quotas. Quotas are kind of tricky. First of all, you could have some type of a training guarantee, okay? What that means is that during the time period that you are undergoing training with the company, they promise that you're going to make a certain amount. Sometimes it's your full amount, 48 k Sometimes it's slightly less. And so you'll need to ask questions and you'll need to plan accordingly. So the next thing that happens is let's assume that right off the bat, you're lucky. They launch you into the field and you meet your quota. All right. That means you're going to be on track to make your 48K that year. And by the way, this is usually calculated monthly or quarterly. And so occasionally, every week, I don't like that format, but I've heard some rumors that some companies are doing that. Um, but you're on track to meet that 48K, okay? So that's your quota. Now what I want you to assume is that you don't meet your quota. Are you going to make 48K? No. As a matter of fact, it'll always be less than 48K. Okay? And so, and actually, if you're not making your quota, a lot of times you're struggling a fair bit with your company to try to keep them happy with you. But I'll tell you, some companies do a great job of assigning quotas. Other companies are not really good at it. And sometimes salespeople are kind of the victim of poor planning on the part of an organization that can't determine what a fair quota is. Ideally, what we want is we want people to be able to know what their target is, to actually be able to make their quota and exceed their quota, which is what I'll talk about next. And then they're a whole lot happier, right? So let's assume that you actually exceed your quota, right? Exceed your quota. Well, then what we can see happen is that 48K might go to a 52K or maybe even a 75K. So what most companies do when you're over quota, they're happy and then they give you an extra bump, an extra percentage to have you keep going and selling over quota. Now realize that if you are consistently going over your quotas, chances are in the future, the company's going to raise your quota, right? Because they may have actually set it low, or perhaps your territory has grown and you can do more business. I want to reiterate, sometimes that's a very fair procedure, and sometimes that causes salespeople a lot of frustration. The research literature on this actually says that compensation is quite often the reason people leave sales jobs. Okay, so we've talked here about sales. We've talked about our quota. Let's kind of work our way down the different topics that I had put here. You now understand what total compensation means. It's usually salary plus benefits plus extras. You also understand salary and benefits. Some companies give signing bonuses. You know, some of this has to do with the time. If times are good or a great industry, they may have extra cash and they may want to secure their workforce and have you get a signing bonus. Now, I will warn you that signing bonuses and the next concept I'll talk about, which is flexible time off, they are both what's called accrued. So as you work somewhere, um, 
actually just flexible time off is accrued. When you work somewhere, over time, you get your days off. So let's say you work somewhere for two months and you've taken a week off. You actually, if you were to leave, you may actually owe the company back money. That's also the same thing with the signing bonus. I want you to realize some of you will sign agreements that say for you to keep that signing bonus, you have to be with the company a full year and sometimes two or more years with the signing bonuses. Bonuses actually apply to a lot of different careers and jobs and they vary all over the place. It also varies when they give them to you. Keep in mind with bonuses, sometimes they're not paid but once a year and sometimes they're paid quarterly. Quota, we talked about the fact that it can be complex. Let me add one more little twist to quotas. Um, sometimes if you're selling multiple products and services, which is quite typical in the type of sales careers that I've seen my students go into, you can actually have quotas for different products and services and they can be different. Really adds to the complexity. I had one student explain the way she felt about this process and she said literally until the day before her quarter ends, she has no idea what her compensation is because some of these quotas are tied to one another. It can be really tricky. Let's come back to my recommendation here. Ask, ask people before you join the company so that your expectations are set properly. All right, let's continue down here. Let's talk about base. I threw that out. A lot of companies will talk about a base salary as being what is either, um, what is your, what is not necessarily going to be your target if you hit your quota, but it's what's guaranteed. So let me give you an example here with base. What if your base is 30K, okay? Your target is 48K. What that means is that even if you have a terrible month, you're still on track to make 30K a year, okay? But they want you to hit your target, which is that 48K. And like we said, if you go over, you can make even more money. The next term down here, we've used the term commission and I've used this term guarantee. I really recommend you to ask very carefully, how much is my guarantee? Now. Earlier in this semester, I have a feeling some of my students probably found these ads in the paper that said, make $150,000 first year. Ah, okay, some sales jobs that might be possible. It's a little bit of a stretch, but it could be possible. Chances are they were what was called a commission only job, okay? That means there's no guarantee, there's no base, your income can fluctuate literally from zero to, who knows, maybe $30,000 in a month in some industries. Be ready for that. That does not give you a safety net, but it does mean that sometimes you can make a lot of money in those kind of jobs. We talked about our target, and the last concept I wanna cover is what's called a draw. So sometimes a company is going to hire you and they're going to say, you're gonna have a 30K base, and you know, while you're getting up to speed for the first three months, we're gonna give you a draw on that 48K, okay? We're gonna be paying you like you're making that quota. What you wanna be careful and ask is if you then are under quota, do you actually have to kind of pay that money back to them? With a lot of draw systems, you still owe them that money back, or maybe in five months you start making your money and your paycheck's gonna be a little lower because you're paying back on the draw that they've given you, okay? All right, well, for me to wrap up, let me ask a couple of, or, or actually have you ask yourself a couple of questions. What do you feel comfortable with? Because salary matters a lot to people and I want you to be happy. Nothing would make me happier than for you to reach out to me a few years from now and say, you know what, I'm financially secure and I'm financially secure because I knew great questions to ask and I decided what I was comfortable with in terms of the flexibility in, of my compensation package, okay? I was really lucky when I started my first sales job. My mentor at the time, Dahlia Riley, and we're still good friends, she grabbed me and she said, let me walk you through this process, Carrie. It's a big deal. It can make the difference between you being really happy in your career and you being really, really frustrated and possibly in debt. So 
I ate ramen noodles and mac and cheese for another six months for me to be sure that I was comfortable with how much I thought I would be making all the time. Then I could be pretty consistent and have a good understanding of what my income was gonna be. So when you get that congratulations and you have that job offer, I want you to talk to people, talk to family members, get advice, make sure that you have the right questions that you're going to ask because I want you to be happy. And it's great if you can make a really good salary in the process. Thanks so much.